Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to crop and upscale a standard definition video to a high definition video. So there's a couple of things you might find helpful. So firstly, I'm going to drag and drop my video into here. One reason why I'm dragging and dropping is because this actually has a file extension MOD. And if I try to import it using the import, it doesn't actually show up because it doesn't, it doesn't show MODs. It shows you all these different things, but not MOD. So it's always best to drag and drop and then you're sure to find it. So this is my standard definition video. Generally what I do is I will crop the video first. So as you can see here, So I'll crop it to 16 by nine. And then you can drag this wherever you want to. Well, so kind of leave it in the middle. There's not really much going on. For some videos, that is very important because you'll, you'll lose vital stuff at the top and the bottom. But this one doesn't make much difference. So that's how I'm gonna crop it. So I'll click on apply. But the trimming is much more important because this one at the moment is two minutes, 28 seconds and there's only about 30 seconds or so I'm actually interested in. So I'm going to click on trim and then I shall drag this little marker and then we shall see if anything exciting happens. Oh, yep, something exciting happened. So I'll just track back and I'll just, I think that's about it. I'll maybe give it a couple of extra seconds so it doesn't I'll just maybe just use, you can actually type in manually the numbers. So what I'll do is I'll give it from 20 seconds and I'll drag this back. There's lots and lots of dust. So I could have a very short video, but we'll say, we'll give it 30 seconds. So. We'll just type in 50. One thing would be nice for a future version would be a nudge thing there. So you could just nudge it one frame, but there's no there's no controls there unfortunately at the moment, which is a, which is a pity. So I've, starting at 20 seconds, going to 50 seconds. So apply. So at the moment it is going in at 406, 720 by 406, but I want it to be full HD, so 1920 by 1080. I will crop to fill just to be sure. I'm not gonna bother stabilization. I'm not gonna bother frame interpolation. Enhancement, I know from experience that this is an old video camera, so I actually need to use interlaced progressive but generally, if it's a modern video camera, then progressive will be fine. And if you've got 50, if it's doing some weird things with the interlaced things, then you need the interlace. But interlace progressive because there were some birds flying across and they looked really, really weird. So I'll click on export. And now this is where it's going to give us an idea of how long it's going to take. I fully recommend if you're using some, if you've got some video from a video camera you haven't used before, make a little video of two or three seconds and play around with some of these uh, video types. So this video is 30 seconds in length, but it's gonna take 39 minutes to actually do what it's told. So now I, I've got a couple of options. So this is what it's gonna look like. So if you go to fit, you'll see that was the original screen. And this is what my high definition screen uh, video, my high definition video will look like. So you see it is cropping the top and the bottom, which is obviously very important. And there's this slidey thing you can do as well, where you can go across. So maybe go up to hundred percent. And you can slide across. Oops. Yeah. Always, if you're going to do that, make sure the lines in the middle of the screen, because otherwise it's not going to work. So you can use the hand to drag it around. So you can see there, there's quite 
the algorithm really does like buildings so you can see that's really really crisp you'll get some weird artifacts i think some of these signs look a bit odd but at the end of the day it's the buildings we're interested in so that's going to take about 40 odd minutes and my processor is going pretty fast so you can see that the cpu is up the top so you need you need a fairly decent processor i wouldn't recommend trying to do this on a laptop you may melt the laptop so this is actually not a bad one it's it's 0 0.3 frames per second i have done ones before and they've been 0 0.1 frames per second so we take this considerably longer so i'm going to let that run and we'll have a look at the completed films at the end so if you found this useful please give it a like or a comment or if i've made any glaring errors or you've got any other tips and tricks please leave in the comments as well i'm planning to do a few of these videos because there's not many tutorials on youtube about this software so welcome back so it took about half an hour to render so this is the original video which i'm having trouble playing so i'm just going to scrub through it but I have remembered to mute the sound because you couldn't actually hear me before, which is a bit daft. So that was original. Obviously, it's square. And this is our remastered version. So as you can see, there's a few artifacts in it, but I think for something like this, because it's so dramatic, people aren't going to notice that much. As you know, if you look closely at these birds, they look a bit more like birds because I had earlier versions and they are actually striped. They like, look like zebras. They're crazy. So hopefully you found that useful. One thing to remember is always experiment before you commit to, to, to rendering a video because the render times are quite long. The other thing about this software is it's not free software. You can get a free trial which has huge big watermarks on it. But I think it's just a question of keeping an eye out for special offers. Obviously, Black Friday is coming up. And as I said, please like the video, comment on it if you found it useful. If you've got any other requests for videos regarding this software, please let me know and I shall try and do another video. And don't forget to subscribe.